Hello everyone! Welcome back to another building video. This week, I wanted to create something that was truly serene and tranquil, so I decided to build a beautiful vineyard in the middle of a plains biome. This plains biome did spawn with a forest right in the middle, but it was just a small one, so I started this build by clearing out all of those trees and just smoothing out the land a little bit. This is such a relaxing process and it really allows me some time to think about what my plan's going to be. And speaking of that plan, I'm going to start by mapping out the structures. This vineyard is going to need several structures, for example a house for the workers who live here, and different processing buildings to store the berries or fruit, or whatever is being grown here at the time. Just buildings to allow the area to function. Once I have them mapped out, it's time to start detailing some. I was very inspired by Italian vineyards specifically. I've been to Italy once in my life and it was so beautiful, I would love to go back. I decided to use some sandstone and some very earthy toned roofs in that granite. I could have went for a brighter color here, but most of the images I was looking at was of older vineyards, and so the buildings looked a little bit more run down, a little bit more textured, and there was a lot more grain to these textures. So instead of doing something like a bright orange, I decided to go for a more neutral color in the granite, and I think that paid off wonderfully. The roofs are just slowly sloping towards each other, and I tried to go for lots of different shapes in these various buildings, just to give this sort of central area a nice accent against all of the green that we're going to be having around. I tried to also throw in two different diagonal buildings, just to again add lots of variation in shape, some interest, and I went for some different textures on the roofs. Then I set up a little simple plaza of sorts in the middle where they can maybe have some barrels and stuff and then it's time to work on the paths. The paths are going to be super important here because they are how I'm going to plan out the actual layout of my farm. So I make four main paths going from this central area. Some of them will be access roads and others will be just paths that are used to access the different vines and plants. Then once that's done, it's time to actually think about these plants that are going to be around. Something that's in a lot of these Italian vineyards that I see are these sort of long, bushy, thin trees that I see quite a lot. I really love these and I thought with the addition of a couple of custom oak trees, it would really make this place come to life. And I just love building custom trees. I think they add so much to a scene. They really help out. And this wandering trader, I think, agrees. I was greeted by so many of these wandering traders while building. It's such a fun little touch to the game. I quite like it. Right, let's continue, enough distractions. Let's continue work now by focusing on the actual vines in this vineyard. That's gonna be, I mean, kind of important, right? I wanted to go with lots of different curvy shapes and sort of surround that central area with all of the farmhouses. I decided to go with different lengths of these, and they definitely aren't perfectly realistic. I was using reference images for this build, but in addition to that, I also looked up some YouTube videos on how wine was made, how vineyards were actually like groomed and taken care of over the winter, and various things like that. I was able to learn a lot about how these vines are cared for, and I can definitely say that I did not build this super realistically. They aren't super well structured, it would probably be hard to get any form of tractor through any of this, but I think it's fairly aesthetically pleasing and you can definitely tell that it's a vineyard. So for my personal standards, I'm very happy with how this vineyard came out. I think this might be one of my favorite farm builds that I've done so far. With each of these vineyards, I decided to go with different types of leaves just to look like it may be different species of grapes that could be growing and I also surrounded each one with different types of those column trees. I really enjoyed creating the, this vineyard and it was so relaxing getting to make rows upon rows of these grape vines. So much fun and I caught up on a lot of YouTube while getting to grind this out. Now that this is finally done, I'm just going to add in a few more finishing touches and then I would like you to come with me to visit this vineyard in game. Let's go see it, shall we? 
Alright everyone, now that you've seen my building process, I wanted to take you through with my favorite shader pack on and show you this world from my perspective. The shader pack I have on is my absolute favorite. It's called Silder Shaders and I'll link it down in the description if you're curious. We're going to be starting by entering into the vineyard from this side path over here. One of my favorite things about this vineyard is that you can enter from any angle and it still looks good. Plus, the sun flares through the custom trees are very much an added bonus from this particular angle. Let's enter into the main area of the vineyard first. I have decorated the interior of all of these houses. This one over here, for example, was a little bit more tricky. I decided to go for more of a small storage area, maybe like an experimenting area. I'm not really sure exactly, but I'm glad the interiors just have something to add a little bit more interest to the world. In the center area of the vineyard itself, I went with some small bush designs, the details on the edge of each of these buildings with these rose bushes I think add quite a lot. I love that touch of red. I also added some barrels and I wanted this to look kind of like a barrel of berries or grapes or whatever fruit it is that they are growing on these vines. And I think that the purple concrete kind of pulls that off. It's at least a little bit textured, which I like. And it's flat, but this is Minecraft we're talking about, so it's probably not going to be perfectly looking like grapes. I don't think it's a bad addition, though. Into this big building here, I've decided to do the main part of the production. Over here, we've got another one of these barrels, and then a little washing station right here with some cauldrons. This building was really hard to lay out because it has that big upstairs area up there. I decided a spiral staircase in the middle of the room was probably the easiest way to tackle this and the most convenient in terms of space. And beyond this, I've decided to stack up some barrels that kind of look like they could maybe hold wine or whatever liquid it is that they need to hold for this place to function. I also added some regular Minecraft barrels around to kind of add to that feeling. I like the way this room looks. It's a little bit empty, but I think it's almost a little warehousey like Like, the walls in a building like this probably wouldn't be super detailed. This is just a place to store stuff, after all. Of all of these buildings, I think the diagonal ones are definitely the hardest to decorate the interior for. I mean, it's hard to think of something to do in this sort of shape of a floor plan. With this one, I decided to do a lot of different shelving. Unlike with the big building over there where it's storing maybe the fruit or the wine or whatever, I thought this one could maybe hold more of the gardening supplies. So I've done some different little sprouts all about, and I definitely think this could work as a little gardening shed as it is on the edge, so maybe it would be easy to access it from the gardens. I really love the look of all of the greenery around here. I think the trees really add to the overall atmosphere, as well as the flowers, and from up here, overlooking the entire vineyard, I mean, it's just so tranquil. I love it. The last building that we need to look in is actually the building that I've decided to create as the house. So we head inside, you'll see that I did a simple little kitchen design in here, a little entrance hallway sort of area, and then through here we have a simple bedroom. Nothing super fancy going on in here, just enough that hopefully the people who live here would be able to function. I don't claim to be a pro at interiors, so that's probably not as fancy as some of you could do, but I think I did an all right job and I like it. Let's walk down this final vineyard path. <laughs> Looks like we've got a wandering trader at the end of the path as well. It's lovely to see. I really like that each of these paths themselves have various paths within them, almost look a little bit worn down, like there could possibly be someone picking berries or the fruit here, or just working on the vines in general. Perhaps, for example, this wandering trader could be doing just- you're walking on my vines, dude. You're I take it back. Wandering traders aside, I really, really like this build. I definitely think it's my favorite farm build that I've personally completed, and I just love the atmosphere that this entire world has. I would love to see it expanded upon. 
If you guys have any ideas for this world, please let me know down in the comments down below. What is your personal favorite type of farm that you have? Do you like the classic wheat, the barns and stables, the vineyards, the more modern styled farms? What's your preference? Let me know down in the comments down below. And thank you so much for watching this video and supporting my channel. I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye everyone!